Vice-Chancellor. Acting Vice-Chancellor. Graduates of 2022, staff, family and friends. Tenekoto, tenekoto, tenekoto katoa. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today and for the honor you have bestowed upon me. It seems only a few years ago that I was in the same situation as you, the graduating class. I attended Victoria's graduation ceremony in 1976 and 1977 in the town hall next door. I still have very warm memories of my time here at Vic and for my favorite professors whose lectures, seminars, and one-on-one -on -one conversations shaped my interest in becoming a professor. In those days, there was no PhD degree here in business here at Vic, and so they encouraged me to go to the US to study for my doctorate, and that proved to be a turning point in my life. For you, the graduates of 2022, this day also marks a turning point. Most of you have now completed 16 or more years of formal education. You've attended countless classes, read thousands of pages of text, written hundreds of papers, projects, and exams. And on top of all that, you had to deal with the disruptions and challenges of COVID. With classes online, and all the frustrations that brought. I can sympathize with you only too well. So congratulations to all of you on your accomplishments and particularly on your resilience during these difficult few years and your commitment to completing your studies. This is truly a day for you to celebrate your years of hard work and effort. But today also gives us the opportunity to look back and give thanks to those who helped us get to where we are today. None of us graduate from university without the help of others. Our parents, friends, families sacrificed, encouraged, and supported us along the way. My parents passed away in the last few years, and I wish I had told them more often how much I appreciated their help. I hope they knew how much it meant to me. So I would like you all, I give you the chance to stretch your legs and stand for a second. So stand up and turn around. And I'd like you to share your thanks and ovation with your parents and your families. sit down now. Uh, today is also a time to remember the remarkable teachers and professors who helped you get to university and graduate today. For me, two of my college professors were particularly important. They made history and English both come alive for me and inspired me to become more curious, to read more, to think more clearly, and to become a better writer. And here at Victoria, I had some outstanding professors who con contributed to my growth in education. They were special teachers, engaged in the classroom, devoted to their students' learning, and they became my role models. One of my regrets is that I didn't reach out to thank them until later in my life, at which point several had passed away. So I'm sure you can name the teachers and professors who've made a difference in your life, and my advice is don't wait to thank them. Graduation is also a time to look forward to the opportunities that await you. Many of you probably already have jobs in hand, and if not, you have some ideas on your next steps. It's easy to think about your future careers in personal terms the support it will allow you to provide your families, the status, power, and yes, money that you may accumulate. But I believe, as the Chancellor just mentioned earlier, that much more is expected of you than just personal success. The world faces so many vexing challenges. Our ways of life are threatened by climate change, 
Innovations in technology provide opportunities to make our lives easier, but also threaten to increase the gap between haves and have-nots, to undermine individual privacy, and to sow misinformation that destabilizes democracy and our institutions. These are challenges that you and your generation face. As you take on these challenges, I believe that there are lessons you can learn from the successes and failure of my generation. My generation has succeeded, certainly, in leveraging remarkable new technologies to create products and services that have transformed our lives and created enormous economic wealth. And they have engaged in commerce globally allowing people in many emerging countries to prosper. However, in country after country, we have failed to recognize the importance of building the broad consensus required to address collective problems like climate change, inequality, misinformation, and lack of privacy. These can't be, by definition, addressed by a single person, a single leader, a single company, or even a single country. It falls on your generation to collectively take up the call to address these problems before they overwhelm us. This is a Herculean task. It will require you to use all the learning you have accumulated, all the experience you will amass in the future, and a willingness to become leaders who work for the betterment of your community, the country, and the world. But I'm optimistic. I teach and meet young people like you from all over the world. I've seen close up their passion for making a difference and the energy and innovation they bring. So my hope for you is that you embrace these challenges and become the leaders so that, that we so also desperately need. So congratulations to you all today. Enjoy and celebrate the moment and best wishes to you all as you become the leaders that I hope you all become. Thank you.